Hello YouTube has a quick follow-up to my last video on how to add summaries of your transactions by category in the Excel checkbook. I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to add a button that refreshes your summaries after you have added new transactions. In this quick walkthrough, we'll record a simple macro, add a button to the screen, and then assign our newly created macro to it. I think you'll find this both easy and fun. So here's the end result we're going for. Here in our summary, I've now got a button here for refreshing. So when I click that button, it quickly runs the macro to refresh these items. And now, for example, I've got uh, some May transactions that are showing up here. All right, so when you have a moment, just open up your copy of your Excel checkbook spreadsheet and follow along. Use the pause button as uh, needed to uh, stop the video to catch up. All right, for our first step, we're going to start recording a macro. So uh, here in Excel, we're going to visit the uh, the View menu, and under the View menu, you'll see a button for macros, and this down little arrow, we'll click on that and tell it we want to start recording a macro. Well, we have to give it a macro name. The default is macro1, which is not very descriptive, so I'm going to call this Refresh uh, pivots. Now one little frustrating thing when you go to uh, name your macro, you can't have any spaces or, or fancy punctuation marks. Uh, so just you know, call it refresh or refresh pivots, whatever you want. It is going to get stored in this workbook, so that's good. And we'll just click OK. Now all our macro needs to do is just to refresh the pivot tables. So I'm just going to click my mouse here in one of these pivot tables. And I now have the menu choice for Pivot Table Analyze. And so we'll click on that. And here there's a Refresh button. And we're going to click that down arrow there and choose Refresh All. Now that's all we needed the macro to do. So we're going to go back to the View menu. And here under the Macros, we're going to click that Macro Down Arrow button and tell it to Stop Recording. Now you might get this prompt, depending on your version of Excel, as to whether or not you want to save uh, this as a script. Uh, now we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we're just going to click to uh, discard uh, the script. Okay, so now have a macro, and we could actually go and play that macro at any time via this uh, View Menu Macros button and go to the View Macros choice. And if you pick that choice, you would see your newly created macro in this list, but we're not going to run it that way. Instead, we want to create a, a convenient button that we can just simply click that will run that macro. We have a couple different ways that we can create a button. We're going to go visit the Insert menu, and under the Illustrations button, uh, we can click, and we have a couple different choices. We can use a picture, a shape, an icon. Uh, for example, if we go to Shape, maybe we'd want to do a, a rectangle or a rounded corner rectangle. That's a great choice to create a button. Uh, or we can just go to this Icons choice. And under Icon, pick your favorite uh, icon picture. And here in the stock images, you can you know, browse by category, or you can type in a keyword. I'm going to type in the word uh, interface, which will uh, bring a lot of uh, recognizable symbols. And I think I'll pick out the, this particular one right here and tell it to insert. So it does put that right square, you know, in a funny little place. And uh, I, I think I'd like this to be above here. So I'm going to resize it to make it smaller. So I'm going to grab it by a corner and just uh, drag that box to be a little bit smaller and then click and hold down and, and drag it into place. There we go. Now you, you know, can certainly stop there, but one thing I did want to mention is you can also you know, right click on that graphic and you can change the color, add some shadow, do other fun things. Certainly not nothing you need to do, but if you like that kind of a thing, if you do that right click on that graphic, we can go to the fill choice and maybe pick out a, a different color uh, for this uh, symbol. So I'll click on a green choice uh, something else that's kind of fun, uh, if I do another right click back on that option, uh, there's a choice here for uh, formatting the graphic. And when that format graphic side panel appears, one of the options here is for effects. And under effects, you'll see a choice for shadow. And then we have some different presets you can pick from. And under the presets, uh, this uh, first one there actually adds kind of a nice little shadow effect to that. Again, totally optional, kind of fun to do though. All right, so now that we've got our graphic formatted, I'm going to close that that side panel for the format shape. And I'm going to go back and do that right click one more time. Under the right click menu, we're going to see an option here for assign macro. And here in our list, we've got that refresh pivots macro that I created earlier. So I'll just click on that and click OK. Uh, now I do want to click away from that so I uh, remove those sort of handle indicators on that. And it's now ready to test. Now, of course, if I click it right now, I'm not really going to see any change because I haven't added any new transactions to my register. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next. All right, so I've added a couple of fictitious entries here to my register. I'm going to go back to the reporting screen. 
And if you pay attention to some of these numbers that show up here, when I click the button here, we've now got this refreshed and we see an increase in some things like clothes, entertainment, and even my uh, salary number. So that's a quick walkthrough on how to record a very basic macro, create a button, assign a macro to it. One last thing I'll mention here is that with pivot tables, there is an option under the pivot table analyze where maybe you'd like this pivot, these pivot tables to automatically refresh whenever you reopen your checkbook spreadsheet. So again, under the pivot table analyze, if we go to this first button here for pivot table and click on options, we get this pivot table option screen under the data tab there's a checkbox here for refresh data when opening the file so i can go ahead and click that and okay that and that means that anytime i reopen the spreadsheet in the future it'll just go ahead and refresh it immediately but of course as i add transactions i probably would want to just go ahead and run my newly created macro well thanks for watching please consider liking and subscribing